day, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I receive in the mail Friday my 10-watt uh, LED, and I had two of these. That's actually the spare one. They have a forward voltage drop from <clears throat> in between 9 to 12 volt, and the full power, they draw roughly 1 amp. And here is... Kind of the beast in ugly uh, finishing uh, result. It's actually not too bad. The silicone is still drying though right now. And uh, what's what's inside here? It's basically if a um, little uh, at tiny eighty five. I received it and I programmed one to do exactly what I wanted to do, and no more than dimming the intensity of that little beast there. Uh, there's a power MOSFET and a 5 volt regulator in there. And the fan, at first I was planning on building a uh, separate circuit for driving the fan and I just end up connecting it directly in parallel with the LED. And it actually works quite well. And of course, well, the rotary button changed the intensity of uh, the LED itself. And I add an L just one extra function. When I press it, it actually will dim to zero. And if I press it again, it will uh, go back to where, where it was before. So uh, I'm uh, intending to do some intensive testing on that. And as far as for heat, uh, I've had it running at full intense, full brightness at 900 milliamps for about a couple of hours and everything was warm but not burning finger or anything. So uh, pretty sure I'll get some nice light out of that. And second thing, I also received my little Nokia and now I can't focus. Ah, here we go. My Nokia display got two of these also, and if anyone have a super easy to use library to work with these, well, please feel uh, feel free to send it to me if you want. I had to pick up a, le uh, a driver for uh, for this, and I kind of had to write every single digit by my by. Uh, doing some math and stuff like that. And of course right now it's connected to the uh, IR temperature sensor right there. So uh, I'm quite happy about the little result about that. It was uh, quite a bit of programming here since while well, the I there for displaying text it it was very 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 easy put everything in between something and then <clears throat> it it uh, it prints but for having printing uh, digit that change every once in a while was a little more uh, hard than I expected but I got it to work and as you can see the refresh rate is about twice per second and it's actually quite nice right now I have it powered on 3.3 volt which is recommended voltage for that and the LED have a, a 220 ohm resistor in series with it so it's actually dimmer than what it should be but uh, during at night it's actually more than enough to see what's happening so the next project will be to take this little nano which is still in this anti-static bag and I'm still waiting for uh, one more part which is a 20 amp little uh, device it actually reads up to 20 amps and it outputs a voltage in reference of that and then I'll uh, probably add some more feature into a little black box and make some magic with more of these encoder and it's not an Arduino but it's one of those little uh, this one is a USB plug it's no big deal I'm pretty sure anyone can make one of these 
but this one is actually very nice because it takes from 1 volt to 5 volt and it will give you 5 volt and there's a little blue LED we can see it here barely shining and that means there's actually no current draw on uh, the device itself so if I take my uh, Arduino here and plug it in as you can see the LED gone a little brighter and powers everything nicely so I thought it might be a uh, useful still have to do some run tests on that probably use some ba rechargeable battery and uh, good for emergency charging and that's about the only thing I have uh, new for uh, for you guys so uh, keep in touch for more current project and See you soon.